Aditi here with Bloodstone Productions, where we help you discover your true north. Well, we're going to try something different this go around. Um, we're going to do a reading. I'm going to do a reading for the collective. Um, and this is going to be for the full moon happening on the 27th of April. So I'm going to use the moonology card, the moonology deck, um, for the overreaching theme. And then I'm going to use the Orisha Bataki deck and also the Urban Tarot deck for clarification if Spirit says that we need further clarification. I have other decks to choose from, but these are the three that we are going to use today. Now, bear in mind that Spirit is not bound to this time and space continuum, so the only time by which we tell time is divine time. You dig what I'm saying? Also, Spirit does not have any gender, but you may hear me say he or she, depending on the energies but we are talking about the energetic signature and not genitalia so without further ado let's get this party started shall we father god the one true source ancestors angels archangels and guides thank you for this opportunity to commune with you today uh, and ask for messages for the collective What do you need to release? Is there any other information? Are there any other far-reaching themes that we need to know about for this particular reading? Please and thank you. Please and thank you. Badu's bag ladies come in mind. Bag a lady, you don't miss your bus. You can't hurry up, cause you got too much stuff. You're moving into, oh, look at that, Knight of Swords. You're moving into bigger things and the fool. Moving into bigger things and better things, and you can't take everything with you, Page of Cups. Come on now. So looking at what do, what do you need to let go of? So you've got the Knight of Swords, the Fool, and the Page of Cups here. Uh, so the Knight of Swords, this is about cutting out, cutting out with vigor what you no longer need, what no longer serves you, right? It's Having a lot of information, like you'll see, you'll see here that he's carving the cow's tongue for ritual, right? So there's a lot of information in the tongue. You know, a lot of information gets passed through. And the Knight of Swords know that there's a lot of information but the knight of swords is also cutting out the information that is no longer useful things that you know used to work and that don't and it's even though it was helpful up until now it's no longer needed so it's time to to get rid of that and then we're going into the fool card which is you know new new beginnings a new journey, a new adventure. And even in the Raider Weight deck, you'll see, oh, excuse me, the Fool card is usually depicted by a character and his dog, and he's stepping over the cliff, and he only has what he can carry in his handkerchief. So Spirit is really 
asking to look at, take stock of what is here and cutting out what is no longer necessary, which is further illustrated by this page of cups. Now here in this deck, this is a new initiate, see, and there are, there's levels to this, levels to this, right? The worldly possessions are not nearly as one's worldly possessions are not as vital as they once were, right? There's, it's like cleaning out the closet and making room for new things making room for new things or or on the flip side of that stripping things down to the bare necessities in order to appreciate in order to appreciate said necessities and I'm also getting strip it down so that spirit can come in and show you just how well you truly are being taken care of. What do you need to release? What things do you think you, have you up until now thought that you needed that you don't anymore? It's like uh, when a child is learning how to ride a bike and taking off the training wheels for the first time and the, the fear and the excitement of, oh my gosh, I've, you know, I've been riding the bike with the training wheels and I've never fallen over. And now I only have to balance on these two, two wheels. How am I going to do it? Am I going to fall? Well, short answer, yeah. But once you get that information, once you learn how to ride a bike, you truly never forget but you have to get past the fear of letting the training wheels go in order to take in order to take advantage of that lifelong information so the knight of swords is clarified by the empress the fool is clarified by the king of cups and the page of cups the Knight of Cups. And the Page of Cups is clarified by the Hierophant. So, that, yeah, I, I can't make this up. This is cutting things out and cutting out what no longer serves to make room for what is being manifested, what you're, what you're bringing in as you connect to Source here. It's like knowing that, knowing God's got me, knowing God's got me. Look, 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 look. Knowing, knowing that God's got me. I'm chilling. It's okay. It makes no never mind what the world says we have or what we don't have of what the world dictates what we need and what we don't need. Because as long as the relationship with source is cultivated and maintained, you there there there's no room for lack. And then here with the fool clarified by the Knight of Cups, it's like you know this. This is like the inner knowing of something new.
the Knight of Cups is a very, very passionate knight. He, he feels a lot, right? And in order to go on the fool's journey, there has to be a level of radical conviction in order to move forward. It is literally a leap of faith. And the Knight of Cups is a very practical application of the amount of faith needed to be able to take that leap. And then with the Page of Cups, clarified by the Hierophant, this is deep knowledge. This is deep mystical knowledge that comes from years of concentrated study. The Hierophant is a reflection of deep knowledge as a result of years of concentrated study. So while yes, it's, 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 a, it's a leap of faith, this is not blind faith. This is standing on, pro st come on now, this is standing on the promises. Standing on the promises. And there's actual work that's involved. This is where that release needs to happen. That's, that's the work. That's the work that needs to be done by the skin suit because spirit is already, spirit's already got in doing what spirit needs to do. And you know that. You know that. Clarify the hierophant, please. Clarify the hierophant, please. All right, one more time. Clarify the hierophant, please. Just, we're, we're just not going to shuffle now. Okay. Justice. Knight of Cups, again. The Empress, again. Three of Wands. And Judgment. Go ahead and pull out the ones that are doubled up so that you can see. Yes. Okay. So we've got Justice, Knight of Cups, the Empress, Three of Wands, and Judgment. There is a sense of knowing here that can only come as a result of all of this study, all of this work with the Hierophant. And knowing what you need to do and knowing where it's time to take one's hands off the wheel, right? And with the justice card, that's, that's very much a, this is, this is out of my hands. I've done everything that I can do. I've written down all of the answers. I have handed it in. And now it's time for the answers to be tallied up. But that has, I, I, don't, I don't have any sway in this. And like looking at the imagery here and how there is balance. I'm seeing the three pillars, the two sides of the scale, and the singular knife. 
which again goes back to with the knight of the knight of swords here cutting out the information that is no longer needed getting down to the brass tacks right the the pruning of a bush so to speak and having the emotional fortitude with the knight of cups to know that the right decision is going to be made because empress you are tapped in to the divine you are waiting for your ships to come in and for the judgment to be called from spirit making the judgment call what do you need to, oh come on i get something else too so with the judgment card uh, sometimes it's depicted as the resurrection in this one it is called the eon but if you look you'll see that this is a memorial wall and that there is the reflection of those who have gone on before us right so when when people when people pass away when people cross over a lot of the times for those of us who are left behind we tend to keep them alive with stories with memories with articles of clothing with you know different artifacts that remind us of them because we want to keep them with us right and while that's everybody grieves in their own way but sometimes sometimes we have to we have to let them go so that they can take care of us in a better capacity right if you have someone who has crossed over to the other side and their job is now or their their mantle is now to take care of you from the spirit realm they're they're not able to do that if they have one foot in the physical right and if we hang on to them too tightly and don't allow them and don't let them go so that they can do and perform the job that they're going to perform. We're doing ourselves a disservice. We are doing them a disservice. And sometimes hanging on to hanging on to the dead too tightly winds up hurting the living. Hanging on to the dead too tightly winds up hurting the living. We can't just sit around and wait for death to come to us, right? Because we have living to do. We have we have we have our own callings we have our own passions we have we, we got we got poop to do over here on what do we need to release? What do you need to release for the collective? Make it clear and make it plain. Make it plain and make it clear. Please and thank you. Please and thank you. I cannot. I cannot 
Justice again. Six of Swords. And the World. There has to be balance. There has to be balance with us here in the physical. There has to be balance between the physical and the spiritual. And we all play a role in maintaining that balance. And sometimes spirit has to come in and make, make difficult changes or difficult decisions. in order to keep in order to keep things balanced but not only here but also in the spiritual and we have come to the end of a cycle collectively we have done all the work that we needed to do and thunder says yeah we've done all of the work that we needed to do for this phase in, in our journey. And now with the Fool card, we have new things, we got, we got new things to do. And so this is the put your, put your pencils down. Put your pencils down and turn in your paper. It's time to turn it over. Because what you think you need, spirit will let you know whether or not you need it as you embark, as you embark on this new journey. Oh, let me move this down so we can see this. So, thank you very much for spending some time with me today. And until we meet again, remember to be good to yourselves and be good to each other. And I will see you all next time. Bye now.